Masking is one of the most widely used steps in skincare. Recently, I tried a bunch of different masks that claim to give you clearer and brighter skin. So I'm going to give you my thoughts on all of them to let you know which ones live up to the claims and if I'm still using them. First, we have the Glam Glow Insta Mud 60 Second Pore Refining Treatment Mask. This mask claims to refine pores and prep skin for makeup by smoothening it. I usually use a glowy sunscreen to prep my skin for makeup, so I was interested to see if this would work better than that. It was obviously a super fun mask to try given that the bubbles grow on your face and that it's bright purple, but I was most interested in the after results and I was pleasantly surprised. I compared my normal makeup prep to the treatment mask and I thought they looked the same, if not Glam Glow a little glowier. The Glam Glow was probably glowier because it took off any dead skin on my face and helped to clear some pores right before my makeup application. Overall, I loved this mask and I've used it since. Next, we have the Love & Pebble Beauty Pops Cryo Facial Mask Kit. It's a 2-in-1 facial kit that claims to depuff, exfoliate, and calm acne. It combines ice rolling with a natural face mask that has papaya, turmeric, banana, and aloe vera. You mix the face mask with water and put it in the freezer for 3-4 to four hours or until it's frozen. The mask was definitely cold, but it felt refreshing on my puffy face. Afterwards, I felt like my face looked super bright and possibly a bit less swollen. I thought it for sure had a natural glowy highlight to it. I think it's a nice thing to try if you like ice rolling your face and masking and want to get two parts of your routine done in one step. The Mirror Clinic Plaster Corset Mask Set combines a wet mask with a plaster mask. The mask set claims to deeply hydrate the skin while tightening the jaw. The set comes with a normal looking wet sheet mask that you put on first and a dry plaster sheet mask that goes on top. You're meant to pull the ends of both masks tight over your jaw, which one can assume is what is supposed to do the jaw tightening. I had never tried a mask like this, so it was definitely an experience I won't forget. I felt a little trapped and it got plaster everywhere, including my mouth and eyes. I was hoping it would all be worth it, but unfortunately my jaw did not look tighter and my skin honestly felt the same, if not drier than before. The pricey cult favorite Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment Mask is next. Many recognize it by the black dots that show up on the face as it dries. It claims to instantly and visibly clear pores. The standard size costs $60, which is a pretty steep price. I was excited to try it because I had heard so much about it over the years and I struggle with clogged pores and blackheads, especially on my nose. It definitely looked like it was working while it dried because I have been told that all of the black dots you see are your pores being unclogged, but I wanted to see my skin under the microscope before I made any assumptions. I'm happy that I did because I definitely didn't see the major difference in the before and after that I was expecting. It was a small difference, but the black dots you see dried on your face for sure do not correlate with the pores that are unclogged. I've used it a few times since on my nose area though, just for a nice refresh. Lastly, we have the Decare Let's Get Started Face Up Mask. It claims to firm, hydrate, and transform dry, dull, and sagging skin. It tightens on the skin as it dries and gives the face a wrinkled look. I was hopeful that it would brighten up some areas on my face where I had some healing breakouts. As it dried, I started to look less and less like myself, so I did get hopeful about the tightening aspect, but after removing it, I saw that my face did not look any tighter. I thought my face looked a bit more glowy and bright, but not as much as I would have liked or hoped. It was fun to try, but it's not something that I'm going to be reaching for. The mask I've used the most since testing is the Glam Glow Insta Mud 60 Second Pore Refining Treatment Mask. Second is the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment Mask. And third is the Love & Pebble Beauty Pops Cryo Facial Mask Kit. I've not used the Mirror Clinic Plaster Corset Mask Set or the Decare Let's Get Started Face Up Mask since testing. Would you try any of these masks?